That is the debut single from Harrison Craig, Unconditional. It's seven past eight. Nathan, Nat and Sean reheated. G'day, Joel, with you. He joins me in the studio right now. Hey, Harrison. Hey, Joel. How are you? I'm good, man. So nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Uh, congratulations on winning The Voice, dude. I know that's the first thing I've got to talk to you about. That must have just been unbelievable. Oh, it's just been thrilling. I mean, you know, the past week has been crazy, but just fantastic, and I'm really enjoying it, so it's been awesome. And anyone that missed The Voice, uh, they need to relive this moment right now, because this is my favourite part of the show. Have, have a listen to this. Still Unchained melody. Just going to start making some pottery right now. <laughs> uh, mate, just listening back to that now, now that time's settled a little bit, the final's finished... Mm. Do you still sort of get goosebumps thinking, wow, how did that all... That that actually happened? Well, it's kind of like your life for the, you know, better part of a year. So, uh, coming off that, you, you're kind of thrust into this um, amazing kind of, um, you know, vehicle that can take you anywhere you want. And it's like, it's just a really, you know, cool way to take your career where you want to go but it's just been awesome like I can't even tell you how great it's been you know just the past week it's been amazing well Australia seemed to fall in love with you from the minute that uh, you came on TV uh, I do want to say though there was another part of uh, your family of course everyone fell in love with them your yeah. mum and your brother Connor yeah. he is a popular not of course as popular as yourself <laughs> winner of The Voice but uh, people just love him yeah he's uh, he's pretty popular I won't lie he's um he's cheeky but you know he's a good kid so. yeah um, and I think um, the brotherly love was the big part of that I reckon it was, he was getting yeah. a bit teary on the sides when uh, you were singing some of your best songs and when you won as well uh, that just be, must be very cool it must make your bond even tighter now yeah look um, when he was probably younger um, n- 9 or 10 hear this Harrison shut up I don't want to hear you singing anymore <laughs> and now to see him you know really crying that's a big you know jump and I mean it, it's just really nice to see that he w- really really cares and he, he, he's just a great kid. Yeah you're a cool yeah. older brother if it was me that <laughs> was crying for my big brother who I have uh, if he won the voice he would sort of like slap me over the back of the head and go dude you cried you big wuss what are you doing? <laughs> uh, no but that's cool you guys are tight there mate congratulations on the album More Than A Dream Thank number you. one uh, you knocked off Kanye on the top of the charts that must be a cool start to your career <laughs> that is it's uh, it's pretty crazy <laughs> Wow, you know, taking off um, Kanye, that's pretty amazing. So. Yeah, Yeezy apparently not as popular as he used to be, even with the whole Kim Kardashian baby, mate. But um, uh, tell us a bit about what it was like, you know, putting the album together and everything. That must have been cool. Yeah, look, um, we did the last four tracks um, in, about a, in about a day, I believe. Um, and it was, you know, it was one of those days where you just got in there, had a, you know, just had a great time in there, smashed it out. But, um, you know, like... Uh, we were throwing around uh, a Kanye um, quotes and everything during the recording <laughs> session. We're like, Jesus, you know, and everything. And it was just, just, we had a great time in there. It was so much fun. So, Well, mate, uh, you are now going to be going across Australia. People will get the chance to meet you. And uh, I know that you're going to be making an appearance today. Uh, but uh, before we get into that, tickets go on sale to see you at the Regal Theatre. Uh, Friday, October, uh, October 11, I should say, is when they go, uh, is when the concert is on. Yes. But they go on sale this Friday if they want to see you. That's right. Yes, absolutely. And, uh, of course, you're making an appearance today uh, when you come in. Now, um, where can they actually find you today? Where, where are we going to see you? Yeah, um, Westfield Carousel. Yep. Today, I'm around 3 o'clock, so it'll be awesome. 3 o'clock, Westfield Carousel, if you want to meet Harrison Craig, winner of The Voice. And don't forget, tickets go on sale this Friday to see him October 11, uh, performing live at the Regal Theatre. Mate, thanks so much for coming in for a chat. It's been my pleasure, Joel. Mate, Harrison, you're an absolute legend, and congratulations on winning The Voice again, mate.